Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today I would like to talk to you guys about how Canva can now export in SVG format. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that does keep you motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. So somebody had commented on one of my YouTube videos the other day that Canva can now export it as SVG. And I was like, what in the what? Um, I personally don't like Canva that much. I don't use it, but it is a tool that people can use to create things. And so I figured let's go check this out and play around with it and see what happens. And here's what I've found so far. I'm gonna go through what I have found. You do need a pro account to make that happen. If you want to give it a go, there is a link in the description box where you can try Canva Pro for free for 30 days. So go ahead and click on that link and I'll take you there and you could sign up for free for 30 days and just cancel your subscription uh, before the 30 days is up if you don't like it. And don't forget to check out the video that I have posted on Canva's terms of use so that you don't get yourself in hot water if this is a tool that you do decide to use. Okay, so I'm gonna head on over to my computer screen and just show you guys what I did. I will walk through everything, and if you guys have any questions about it, please let me know. So, um, you can see I just created like a really quick little thing here. Um, I wanted to put a shape in. I put a frame in where I dropped a photo. Um, I put in some regular uh, sans serif text, and then I put in some script text here that you can see. And I just wanted to see how this was gonna export out. So I did save this as SVG test three. Okay, and these are all free elements that I've pulled off of Canva um, and free fonts that I've pulled off of Canva uh, to utilize. Okay, so this text originally had like a shadow in the back. I just took that effect off um, and I really just wanted to see how everything was going to look. Okay, um, so what I did is I went ahead and saved that down here. You can see that I tried a few different things and this was the final product that I ended up coming up with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open this up in Silhouette Studio. Uh, because you know a lot of us that are going to be selling SVG files we expect to create the file it is done for the end user they can put it into whatever uh, program that they're using uh, for their cutting machine like Silhouette Studio or Cricut Design Space and they're ready to rock okay so um, I went ahead and I tested this out in Silhouette and what I found was some very interesting things uh, when I did that so I'm just gonna get this open so you guys can see what I'm looking at here and it's gonna just take a second to load up. Let's notice the differences here. The color in this is definitely not the color I had on Canva. Um, that's pretty typical, okay? The te text came out just fine and I lost that frame. I lost that frame, the circle frame that I used. So I just used a basic circle frame and for some reason when I open that in Silhouette Studio, I've lost it, right? So everything looks good, right? But when you click on send, what you'll see is, as this loads up, um, the heart should cut out fine. Um, the picture will cut around the picture. The regular sans serif text that is not attached will cut out fine. The script text will not. So what that means for you is even if you are creating SVGs in Canva, if you decide you're gonna go down that route, you still have an extra step to go. You still need to utilize another program to clean it up or your end users are gonna have to be able to know their software well enough that they can create the welding or attaching that they need to do to be able to cut the script text success successfully. And I presume it will be the same as well if you have interlocked or joined shapes if you're getting into more intricate stuff. For the purposes of this, I just did something ridiculously basic, okay? So to fix this, you just go back to the design and you select your script text and then you're going to weld. Okay, then you're going to weld, okay? and then go ahead and uh, create a compound path. That's what I like to do. Now when you click on send, everything is gonna be joined up together and cut just nicely. It's cleaned itself up, which is good, right? So in all reality, you can create some very basic SVG designs in Canva 
export it as an SVG, which you can scale up or down to any size, and then you're good to go, okay? Uh, now I'm gonna go over to Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna load up the same file, and we'll see what that looks like. I haven't done this yet, so I'm gonna do this totally off the cuff. I'm gonna do the same thing with Inkscape, and we'll see what happens, okay? So I'm just gonna pause it, I'm gonna open those programs up, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I opened this up in Cricut Design Space and um, the image frame did not load up. The heart did. Um, everything loaded in as a group. I'm just going to click on ungroup and you can see that it's all separated into its own little cut files. So I'm just going to scroll down here. I'm going to select all of this. Okay, and I'm just going to click on weld. And you'll see that that's all going to come together. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. But first I'm going to click on attach. And then weld. Okay. And then I'm going to click on make it. And you will see that this will all cut out just fine. And the heart will cut out just fine separated in its own little uh, colors here. And I do not have a machine hooked up because I brought my machines to the new house. Um, I did try this on Inkscape and it did open everything up. But the issue I'm having is, is I cannot convert any of these objects to path right now. I'm not sure if it's just because it's not reading the font or what. Uh, because even when I try to do it with this basic text, <clears throat> I cannot do object to path. You can see no objects to convert to path in the selection. And same thing if I do stroke to path, it says no stroke pass in the selection. So I'm going to have to play around with that and figure that out. So I'll come back to Inkscape in another video. Um, but what this shows you is you can create SVGs and people can cut them out in Silhouette or Cricut. Um, but Inkscape, I'm having a little trouble with trying to figure out what in the world's going on there could very well be because I don't have whatever fonts these are loaded up on my computer but I'm not I'm not sure um, so let's just go back over to Canva um, it's limited right so if you don't feel comfortable using Inkscape or you don't want to purchase a higher version of Silhouette Studio to invest in your business and you just kind of want to play around a little bit this is an okay tool to use um, I just wanted to show you guys what I saw and how this worked, um, that it is possible to work through some of this stuff, but it's not that great. So you do have the ability to save SVG files in Canva if you have a pro account. That's all I got for you guys, okay? If you have any questions, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. I'm gonna try to answer them to the best of my ability. Um, and you know, if you haven't already, head over to the Facebook group and join up where we're creating a community of like-minded individuals who are trying to grow their semi-passive income with digital downloads. More than happy to answer questions there. And as always, if you got something out of this video, please go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. And uh, yeah, I'll try to figure out what's going on in Inkscape and hopefully get an answer back to you guys soon. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Have a great night.